Hello everyone, this is Yusuf and you're watching British Colour Canary Club YouTube channel. Before we introduce our guests of today, please make sure to like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Please introduce yourself to the viewers. My name is Andy Constantine and I keep colour varieties of canaries. And how long have you been keeping the birds? I have been keeping colour varieties for 46 years now. So what made you look after birds and start the hobby? Well, originally I kept all types of uh, British finches, but then I swapped over to colour varieties of canaries yeah. and mainly mosaics because I like the colours and also the type of birds. Uh, so uh, I had a transition from the ordinary British type of birds to the colour varieties of canaries. And when you were keeping the British birds, was it difficult to look after them? Not really, because I, the, when I first started, I had one flight with a mix of, uh, of finches, really. So being all in a flight, it was easy to keep them because I only had one feeding station and one large water bottle really so all I had to do after that is just clean the birds which was easy because it was just one flight uh, with the color varieties of canaries uh, especially during the breeding season they have, the birds have to be separated so they're in pairs in different cages so therefore each cage has to have its own water, its own feeding uh, station, it has its, its own nest and uh, also different varieties of different colours have to be kept separate. And which topic would you like to talk about to the viewers? Basically speaking, a lot of people buy seed uh, from a commercial place and the majority of people don't really know or understand the value of the seed they're feeding the birds because the cheap seeds there's uh, also different varieties of uh, mixed canary seeds you know and some of them are not really very well balanced uh, protein wise uh, you see so there's two different types of seeds that uh, should be fed to canaries at different types of the season, right? Yeah. We have birds which are mainly red or red ivory, right? Which do not need lutins, which is the yellow factor in a seed because they're red-based birds. And what you don't want is yellow, bird, uh, yellow feathers uh, seen on a red bird is against the standards right so consequently especially at the time of molding you should separate the yellow based birds from the red and red ivory based birds because you have to feed them in different ways right the red and red ivory based birds you have to give them uh, a red coloring agent which is called carophyll red to be added to a dump uh, seed or mixed with the uh, soft food, what we call egg and biscuit food. You mix the colorful uh, ring into the warm water and then mix it into the egg and biscuit food. That's given to the red and red ivory birds, never to the yellow or the white based birds because they shouldn't be red. And if you give them any of that food, they will you will get some color feathers which disqualifies them from showing. Consequently this is where the seeds with the lutins come in because of the yellow based birds which is mainly white, the yellow mosaics which are an old white bird with a yellow blaze, uh, the completely yellow birds and the yellow ivories all those birds need the lutins because they need the yellow factor into them to produce a nice yellow color. And when I say yellow, it's, it's a citron yellow, not a marigold type of yellow because that would be wrong. 
So what we're looking is a bird with a citron yellow color, a ni nice bright color. Okay, Mr. Andy, my next question is, what seed is beneficial in a canary diet? Right, mainly speaking, there's the seeds with oil content in them and seeds with carbohydrate, right? Mm. The seeds with oil content are hemp, linseed, niger and rape. Now, you have to be careful here because some of the rape that is being mixed with the canary seeds is not actually rape, it's cabbage seed which comes from Russia. Mm. Now, it looks like rape, it tastes bitter like rape, but it's not actually rape, so it's of very low value, right? The best rape that should be in a mix, really, is what some people call the German Ruben rape, right? It's a different color and is less bitter, but it also contains more oil, right? It is important to have the oily seeds in a mix, so out of the four types of seeds that contain oil, which is the rape, the linseed, the hemp and the niger, out of those four seeds, at least two of those should be present in any type of canary mix you buy from the shop, right? Then we go to the other question, is about the power uh, in the rest of the seeds. Uh, which is got the fat content in it, but also what is important, which is the carbohydrates. It's like us eating bread and pasta and stuff like that. It put extra energy, right? The um, the seeds that have the the, much, uh, the maximum carbohydrate are the canary seed, the plain canary seed, all types of canary seed because there's quite a few varieties, and. Uh, the peanut oatmeal or any type of oats now the canary seed is got a value with about 50 percent half of it is carbohydrate is very high which is good that's why the canary seed in any mix is about any canary seed you buy is is about 70 percent plain canary right then we have um, uh, the other seed which is uh, very high in carbohydrate is oats but the best one is the peanut oats which is chopped oats and that one is 33 to 35 percent carbohydrate mm. that is very important and then you get a variety of uh, different bits and pieces added to the uh, seed right so ideally speaking if you ask me if I had a choice, what I would choose best is I would choose this, uh, the canary seed, the canary mix, which has got everything in it. Because every single seed we have on the market is got some value of others, right? So usually what you will find in a canary mix, you find the majority of the mix is plain canary, some peanut, a little bit of hemp, usually only about 5% because it's an expensive seed and about three to five percent niger seed again they don't put too much of that because it's an expensive seed and then you get a, a, a variety of other different types of wild oats in there and linseed and again linseed it varies between five to fifteen percent of the mix okay. so really there any any canary mix you buy if it's got those seeds in it in the right percentages that's what you want really uh, because there you've got the carbohydrates which you need and you've got the oily seeds in there which the bird needs especially at the time when the molting because when the molting you need the oily seeds because it makes the feathers brighter and because of the oil content right and also it's got the vitamins in it and some of the oily seeds is got, they've got a lot of fat in it, which is what you need. Now, certain times of the year, especially after Christmas, 
people should condition the birds, start conditioning the birds ready for breeding for the next season. Because you've got the end of December and January and February. Now, some people only give the right foods to the birds when the chicks arrive. That's a lot of nonsense because the birds are not fit enough to breed if you don't give them enough stuff. You should start straight after Christmas with the best seeds and you should also give uh, the soft food, the egg and biscuit food, you should start after Christmas, you give them a bit of that once a week, then slowly increase it to twice a week, three times a week, and before, and before they start laying eggs, you should give it to them at least four out of seven days a week, you should get the soft food mixed with all the bits and pieces in it, uh, because that's the time when you want the birds feed enough, because if they're not fit enough with the right food, they will not breed. And then you'll be complaining, oh, the birds deserted the chicks, oh, they didn't feed you, oh, they had clear eggs. But that's what happens if you don't feed well. So don't forget, conditioning the birds is the time of the year when you should give the best foods to the birds, not when the chicks arrive only. Okay, now for my third question, Andy. What is the percentage of protein and fat in the seed? Okay, uh, thank you for that question, Yusuf. What I did, I've got a bit of paper which was put together after scientific research into the different types of seeds and the values because an ordinary person doesn't really know the values of these, right? So it is important because, for example, Canary seed, what sort of fat content it is? It's got 5.5 percentage of fat, but is 50 to 52 percent of carbohydrate, which is very important. Rape seed, for example, is is 22 percent protein, right? And the carbohydrate value of that is 20 percent. But it's got a fat content because of its oily content. It's got a fat content of 40 percent, 40 percent because of the oil. Because rape oil is used in medicines and a lot of food stuff and everything like that, right? Then we get more, which is a poppy seed, right? It's only it's 18 percent carbohydrate. But it's got a fat content of 45%, which is very, very important. Millet, it's only got 4% fat, but it's 57% carbohydrate. Uh, all these uh, figures, Nigel, is protein 21%, which is pretty high, really. But it's also got a content of 22% or 22% of carbohydrate, but it's got a fat content of 40 percent now seeds like this you cannot ignore you cannot ignore because of what they are ca they're actually made out of you know the whole content in the seed is very very important right then we get down to for example egg right so you bo how boil an egg right you take the yolk of the egg the white of the egg is really not important at all. It's only got a fat content only uh, point quarter of a percent, which is nothing. But the egg yolk is got a fat content of 33%. So an egg yolk is very, very important. It's very important because 33% of fat is is really especially when in, at the time when the birds are breeding or they're molting and they're changing their feathers they need the energy that egg yolk is really important okay now then we get things like apple for example an apple uh, is uh, is fruit really and uh, it's 83 percent water Apple is 83% water. Most of the greens are 95 to 96% water. But apple, it has no fat whatsoever. 
So therefore, again, apple is a very important thing to give to birds. Now, there's a lot of other things on this list which we're going to put on, the, on this program for you to have a proper look at it. And uh, you can see for yourselves and even copy this, really, to find out the values of your seed. So next time you go to a pet shop and buy a bag of seed, you need to ask the questions. Or if you know of a bag of seed, which is a good canary mix, then you carry on using that particular seed and don't go for the cheaper options because you pay a little bit of money, that's all you're going to get, a little bit of seed, <laughs> nothing important. So anyhow, I would like to thank you all very much for listening to us. If there's any questions you have, you can always uh, have a chat with us or get in touch. Thank you, Andy, for participating in this series. It was a pleasure having you. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one because we've got another special guest that's coming. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Mm -hmm.